Now this was never too clear to me. This is actually a flashback. They don't do a very good job of telling you that, especially since you uh, you have your upgrades in the uh, in the flashback. This is the first time Tails ever sees Sonic, which is cool that we get to see it, but you know, it's fairly pointless. Doing a pretty good job keeping up with him. Man, when this game came out, this game looked so good. And then Sonic just passed through a tree. Or a shrub. What is going on here? Why is it so dark? なんか懐かしい夢を見たな。ソニックのおかげで僕は変わることができたんだ。ソニック。ソニックと歯ぐれちゃったか。そう、やっぱり今までのトルネードじゃダメだ。エッグキャリアに対抗するには。what is going on with his eyebrows, man? Dude, stop it. You're weirding me out, man. That was bizarre. And he's doing that weird thing again where he's like having a seizure. Like, is is he having a seizure? I don't I don't understand. Oh, so this this game looks really good at like dawn. At dawn, it's a good song. I thought I was going right off the edge again. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We're looking for a Chaos Emerald. I'm pretty sure there's a Chaos Emerald this away. Because we're now looking uh, on our own. This is a thing that Sonic didn't actually do in his his story. I was gonna show it off, although I don't know if Sonic actually can or not. But uh, we're gonna do it now. I think it should be around here somewhere. Just fall through the trees, please. Find an area where. Okay. I mean, you could do that too, I don't really mind. You fucking fuck, give me back my emerald, you fuck. I love that subtitle, Star. Puh. What are you? I didn't even, I just gently touched that thing. It's like a toilet of sand. And no, I don't know how Froggy got in here. I really don't. Don't ask, because I don't know. This is Sand Hill. I guess Sonic couldn't have come in here. Or maybe he'd probably jump up there. I could probably get him up there. Um, I think the... This is, like, the best way to do the, uh... Whoa, I think this is how you get the, um... Emblem, I think, is go through all these, or, like, a good majority of them. I think you have to get, like, a 30 hit streak or something. Kiltacular! Also, I love this song. Hello there, you look like something out of Shadow of the Colossus. Actually, I'm fairly certain that is a Colossus. But yeah, this is one of the few unique things that Tails gets to do, and I like it because I, I like the snowboarding stuff in this game. Although this is sandboarding, I guess. God damn, at least it's not waterboarding. <laughs> get it? It's usually called surfing, though. But I was going for another another thing altogether. Yeah, it's very difficult to control. I, I'm gonna blame the Mad Cat's controller. And the fact that Tails is a little bit slippery. Holy Jesus. Yeah, this is also not a very long level. Yatta! Yeah, yata means, like, I did it, or good, or, uh, you know, we did it. It's pretty much just a general exclamation of, you know, I did it, or yay. And now we get the first flashback for Tails. I think this is the only flashback for Tails, actually. Why does he glow green sometimes? Gotta, gotta save that environment, I guess. 
I wonder where I am. It's a very good question. Uh, so I know that there is a, um, let's see, there's a, an upgrade in here somewhere. I think it's usually over here. Oh, found it. Tell him. I went right through it. This is the rhythm badge. Rhythm brooch, ne? Action button will hold on to the rhythm badge. Or, as the Japanese Or, as the Japanese version calls it, the rhythm brooch. Or, brooch. I don't know how that word is pronounced. So, now all we have to do is go over here. Well, let's talk to some of these guys first. They all look like、uh, knuckles. They have a surprising amount of things that they say, actually. Like, you wouldn't. Not a lot of people are going to talk to these people. But,、uh, they, they do have a surprising amount of things to say. Full steam ahead. Yeah, yeah, that guy already said something. She is so goddamn anime in this version. Wow. She's <laughs> he's probably the first non echidna she's ever seen. I'll never understand those. I don't know if those are like dream sequences where they see information or they actually travel back in time. There's a little, little, little weird there, game. Never quite clear on that one. You ever just find yourself randomly waking up in the middle of a field holding a frog? Big in Japanese ought to be interesting. A dumbass. He sounds pretty much exactly how I thought he would. How many freaking planes does he have? Like, seriously, how many planes does Tails have? It's as Ann as the nose on Plane's face. Alright, let's get on out of here. And another cutscene starts up right as you get to the house. I really like this game at, 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 like, at night. It looks really nice. What's going on inside of his house? What is this? Seriously, it looks like some Zone of the Enders stuff going on in there. It would have been funny if the wings got caught on the thing. I do like the Tornado 2 a little bit better, though. I like the color scheme. Yeah, it's pretty miraculous that we just randomly find Sonic. Maybe he was following the egg carrier and figured Sonic would be pretty. Pretty close behind. Yep, that is in fact Sonic. <laughs> if, if we're going by the theory that 
each story is from the the, the, uh, the character's recollection of the events. That's hilarious that Sonic would have said that in Tails' version. Like, hey Tails, that plane's really cool, man. Oh, Tails. You so silly. So it looks like we're getting ready for another, uh, another sky chase. Which means I'm gonna cut ahead again, because there's no reason we have to see this a second time. We'll see ya! Okie doke, so we are done with Sky Chase, which means we never ever have to do it ever again. Until the next time I play this game, of course. Would have been great if that line there was Tails, you idiot. I will say that I think the Japanese cast had a better start than the English cast. Like, the English cast has a really great sound to their voices, but the Japanese, they sound like they're acting better. Like, they, they you could definitely tell that they're a little bit better in the acting department, but, uh... The, the American cast gets really good in 2 and Heroes. Uh, I wish they had a little bit more time before the 4 kids cast took over, but... The cast that we have now is, I think, perfect. And that's only due to Roger Craig Smith. See, look at the face. There's a face there. Looks like a grinning frog. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I think this game still looks pretty remarkable for a game that came out in 1999. I think this game still holds up. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. <laughs> See, what does this monitor say? Yep. Didn't really need to know that. I'll never understand that. Why does that do that? Like, yeah, this is the Sky Deck. You don't have to tell me that. So I want to say this is actually one of the last levels that Tails has. I feel like it's this, and then... I guess Speed Highway, and I, I think that's it. So this is probably the my least favorite level that Tails has, just because... I don't know, I don't like how slippery Tails is in this game, and uh... I don't know, he could go flying right off, and it's pretty annoying. And yeah, I know I have freaking, you know, tails I can use to fly, but... Whoa, okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Well, is there an engine down there? I'm, I'm surprised they actually detailed that much of the level. What are those rings? Why are they there? But yeah, I really see that. Look at that. That was bad. I was trying to get up top. But Tails just went, like, all the way off to the side. Yeah, I'm not a, not a big fan of this level as Tails. It's a little bit more maneuverable as Sonic, just because he's, I think, a little bit more, uh... His controls are a little more tight, I, I guess I'd say. Let's see, can I get over there somehow? Oh my lord. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I hate that. Alright, I'm not going to try and take any shortcuts, I'm just going to do this level how it's meant to be done. Also, depth perception isn't great, it's not my not my friend in this level. What the hell happened there?! No, seriously, what was that? I fell through something. That was not cool game. So Sonic hits... I hate this level. I swear to god if I get a game over in Tails' story. 
this level has always been a problem for me. Alright, we're gonna give Sonic some room to do his thing up the stairs so I don't fall through them again. Ugh. Once we get out of this level, we're home free. Gonna also give Sonic some room because I don't want him to, uh... Don't want him to hit me and then kill me again. We should be able to catch up to Sonic, no problem. I need a ring. What is he doing? Why is he spin dashing? How'd he get up there? Yeah, 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 I know, I just cheated there, Sonic. Oh, I can't wait for this level to just be over. Oh, just land correctly, Tails, please. I'm getting so nervous right now. Because I really don't want to ever have to, uh... Have said that I got a game over in Tails' story. Where the hell's the end of this level? Oh, here it is. I'm really glad you don't have to go through all the level, because if you had to go through the part with, like, on top of the egg carrier where it's windy, that would be the worst. Because I could see myself flying right off the edge. That level can actually go suck a dink. That was the warning alert of me almost uh, cussing in an E-rated game. Seriously though, I hate that level. That's like the only hard level in Tails' campaign just because he's so, so damn slippery. Where's Tails? There it is. And Sonic disappears. And again, these are pink. Why are these pink? Come on, dude. Entry restricted. Alright then, I get it. Wait, can we sit him in one of those Eggmobiles? Or the Eggomatics? I forget what they're called. I guess not. It seems like there's an invisible wall there. And let's -a go! I'm glad now because the hard part is over. The quote unquote hard part is over.